Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to use M Sound Factory to show you how you can create a riser with a comb filter. I've been doing this recently with a device I've been working on, and I thought I'd share it with you. I think this is really cool, and it can really add some things to your risers and help you create other interesting sounds too, especially FX. So let's get started. So first thing I should say is I'm going to set this to monophonic and turn the gain down a little bit. Uh, this is my envelope settings for the global envelope, and I want to make sure I have the limiter on. It's very important. With comb filters, we don't want to burn, uh, blow our ears out. We're going to go into the generator now, and I'm going to turn on the noise generator here, like this. From here, we can use white noise, we can use pink noise, clicks and pop stairs. I'll leave it on white noise for now. And you can make the widening, you can make it mono, or it's 0%, it'll be have a stereo mix. You could make it wider if you want, but I don't really need that. And this time I'm going to use filter basic. And the only reason I'm using that is just because it uses a little bit less uh, CPU. So that's always good. From here, since it's monophonic and it's noise, I don't really need it to follow the pitch. I do want it to follow the frequency though. So we're going to set it to constant and you'll see how it changes from frequency in octaves to frequency in hertz, which is what we want. And I'm going to turn the resonance down. I think at 40% it has a bit of a, a peak and I don't want that. I want it to be a little bit flatter. So let's set it around 30. So that should sound better. And we want to modulate this so it starts at low frequency like this and moves up. So it'll do something like this. Now, I could do it like I did before using the envelope or the attack, but I'll show you a different way. I'm going to use one of the modulators. So I don't use these so often and they're a good way to do things, especially if uh, I, I don't need it to be like polyphonic. So what we're going to do is just first hit this and click learn. Okay, turn it off. You notice, hey, it's not doing anything. What we need to do is actually turn this on. So click it. And now you see it's actually moving like that. And you can see in here what, what it's doing. I'll uh, play it first if you want. And by doing that, what I want to do is make sure it's at the uh, frequency levels that you like. So I think ah, the max frequency is not quite high enough. I'll set this a little bit higher, like 6,000. So as you notice, there's some annoying things there. One is the fact that it just keeps repeating over and over again. You're like, how can I stop that? I don't want it to be like an LFO. I just want it to work like a normal envelope, go to the top and stop. Now, a way to do that is where it says here, MIDI reset or re-trigger. Look at the end where it says single shot. Make sure you turn that on. As you'll see at the top, the little line stops moving when you do that. That just means when I press the note, it will go to the top and stop. You probably noticed there, it went to the top and then it went back to the beginning. We don't want that. And the reason that's happening is it says single shot reset, which means once it, once it gets to the top, it'll reset at the beginning. But we don't want it to reset. We want it to just hang there at the top. So let's try it again with this off. Everything's good. And of course we can mess with the length if we want it to be a little bit longer, like let's say two bars. And we can also set other parameters here, like the resonance, if we wanted to do that. And one thing I should warn you about here is the phase, it defaults to 90 degrees, which means it's going to start here. So if you notice that's happening, like, why isn't it starting at the beginning? That's why. So what you want to do is just move it down to zero. So now that we have that, let's mess with the comb filter. The comb filter is actually here in this filter. So we're going to turn this off and look in the type actually first before we do that let's go to constant and now look in our comb filter here like this we can turn this on and now we'll hear it and it's going to sound like we're playing uh i don't know like blowing wind through a tube or something like this like that actually let's go in here and move the attack up a little bit Seems a little bit loud at the beginning. And let's move DC blocker and clip up a little bit. I just did that because I wanted to get rid of that hard pop at the beginning. Sometimes that happens when you're doing things with the comb filter. This makes it a little bit easier on you. Now, 
you can move this down and if you move it up or in frequency, it'll sound like a smaller tube like this. Or if you move it down, sound like a larger tube. So you can play with that. And another thing you can play with is the character, but be a little bit careful because as you move the character up, it can cause feedback loops. So I would recommend keeping it under around like 90 degrees on the high side and 10 degrees on the low side. You can experiment with, if, with it if you want, but I'm, I'm warning you, be careful. Another thing we can experiment with is different comb filters here. So you see this is comb filter one, but there's many different ones. So I could do this. They're all a bit different. I thought the B comb, that sounded the best, most menacing to me. So not only can we move the different comb filters and change those, but we can also modulate the frequency here. So let's see if, let's actually, instead of doing it by hand, let's set it up with a mod. So I'll click learn here again, and then we'll set this down someplace like this, and then go up maybe, I don't know, 400, like that. So now we can move between that like 59 and 400 hertz. And let's see how, hear how that sounds. And we can also invert it. So if you want the filter to go up, but this to go down, all we have to do is just go to filter one, which is our comb filter here. And uh, actually, another thing I should tell you is, if you're like, what? how am I gonna remember what all this is? I can change filter basic. I can actually change the name of it itself if I don't like that. So here where it says rename, let's just say I put LP filter. And then I'm, I'll change this to comb filter. And this is just for convenience sake. So in that case, if in the future, you're like, what, what did I do? Sometimes you make a patch and then three weeks later, you have no idea what you did. So now it says LP filter and comb filter. So I can remember what this is. And now I think I just want to invert this. So now it's going to go down like this. So I just click invert and I play it. So now I'm getting those kind of really interesting sounds, especially kind of like robot sounds. And that's one of the cool things you can actually do with this. Using this with some basic effects and EQ and reverbs and things, you can create some really interesting sounds. I especially like it with a, a tremolo or something, and I actually use this in a device to come up with different sounds. So I'll show you that here. And this is what it sounds like in default. basic noise riser and I'll show you some other ones like here's one just noise with effects so it's something you can easily use for let's say a, a transition between a section or here's a downer you might want hey how how did you go down how do you how did you do that uh, so what I did before if you just ever want to invert this, you're like, ah, this is only going up. How do I make it go down? You can either A, just click this button, invert inside advanced settings, and it just changes it. Or you can go into uh, the custom. Uh, oh, yeah, this is already on custom. And you can just move it like this manually. So it's your choice on, on what you want to do here and how you want to do it. But that's how you do it. So... You can see here I have downers, I have risers, etc. Let me see, what is this one? And you see I'm using the 
uh, tremolo here. But I think the really interesting things come here, like this one, kind of like a transformer sound. I don't know why that's so slow. Let me try this. Or this one. And if you modulate the rate, you can come up with even crazier things like this. So you can play with that and with all the different combinations, you can come up with really crazy and wacky stuff. So hopefully this device will be included in M Sound Factory so you won't have to go through all the stuff I did before to set this up. You can just use this and set the comb start and comb end points wherever you want and create your own wacky, crazy sounds and play with this in a way and hopefully create something new and interesting and better than I did. So if you have any questions about this, leave them down below. Uh, if you have anything else you want to say, uh, do that too. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done that, and until next time, check out all the other plugins at MeldaProduction.com. See you.